What's going on everybody? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Let's solve this math question that says find the value of a plus b plus c if a b is equal to 10, b c is equal to 20, a c is equal to 30. We can decide to call this equation 1, call this equation 2, and call this equation 3. Now, our first step will be for us to multiply the three equations. So, the left hand side, we have AB times BC times AC. This is equal to the right hand side, we have 10 times 20 times 30. Very good. Now, this expression on the left is same as a times b times b times c times a times c and this is equal to 10 times 20 times 30 gives 6000 very good now there is something we're going to do here a times a gives a squared times b times b gives b squared and then c times c gives c squared and this is equal to the right hand side which is 6000 very good now our next step will be for us to apply the law of indices that says when i have for example x to the n times y to the n Notice they have the same exponent. This is the same as x times y to the common exponent n. So we're going to be applying this to the left hand side since we see that they have the same exponent. So this expression can be written as a times b times c all raised to the common exponent 2. And this is equal to 6,000. Very good. So A times B times C gives ABC. And this is raised to the power of 2. This is equal to 6,000. Very good. Now to get ABC, we have to take the square root of both sides. So I'll take the square root of ABC all squared. I'll take the square root of 6,000. Well, I'm going to be focusing on a positive square root. Now notice that the square root cancels out the square, leaving behind ABC to be equal to the square root of 6,000. Very good. Now our next step will be for us to break down 6,000. Now I'm going to be using the division method. So I'll draw a line so that we have to divide. So this is 6,000. Now let's start with two. So 6,000 divided by two, that's 3,000. Then let's go with two again. So 3,000 divided by two, we have 1,500. Two can still go. So let's go with two. So 1,500 divided by two, we give 750. Two can also go, so let's use two. 750 divided by two, we give 375. Now, two can't go here. So all we have to do is use five. So five can go. So 375 divided by five is 75. Five can also go. And then 75 divided by five is 15. 5 can also go. Now 15 divided by 5 is 3. And then lastly, 3 can now divide. So 3 divided by 3 is 1. Now we're going to be pairing this in 2. So we pair this together. So 2 times 2 gives 4. We also pair this together. So 2 times 2 gives 4. Right? Very good. Now let's pair this 2. 5 times 5 
gives 25 and then 5 times 3 gives 15. Now this other two can be paired because they are the same. So 4 times 4 will give 16. So that means 16 times 25 times 15 gives 6,000. So I'm going to be replacing this 6,000 by 16 times 25 times 15. So therefore, ABC is equal to the square root of 6,000. We have 16 times 25 and then times 15. Very good. Now let's separate this. So we have ABC to be equal to, this is the square root of 16 times, this is the square root of 25, and then times, this is the square root of 15. Very good. So simplifying further, ABC now gives, the square root of 16 is 4 times, the square root of 25 is 5, and then times the square root of 15. So I'm going to be multiplying this on our next step. So we have ABC to be equal to 4 times 5 times the square root of 15 gives 20 root 15. Very good. Now recall, let's recall because we're looking for the value of A, B, and C so that we add them together to give us our final answer. So recall that the question said AB is equal to 10, BC is equal to 20, and CA, or we say AC is equal to 30. Now to get the value of A, A will be equal to ABC divided by BC. You see that? So ABC divided by BC would give A because BC can cancel off. You see that we have A. And what is ABC? We got it to be 20 root 15. And now divided by BC, what is BC? BC is 20. So 20 can cancel out 20, leaving behind the square root of 15. So A is equal to the square root of 15. Very good. Now let's get the value of B. So B is the same as ABC divided by AC because A and C can cancel out, leaving B. So this is equal to the numerator ABC is 20 root 15. So 20 root 15. And now divided by AC, AC is given to us as 30, so divided by 30. Now, 10 can divide. Now, 20 divided by 10, I have 2, and then 30 divided by 10, I have 3. So the value of B is equal to 2 root 15 all over 3. Very good. So I've got A and I've got B. Now remaining C. Now these are the informations that we have. We have A, B, C to be equal to 20 root 15. We have A, B as given in the question to be 10, B, C to be 20, and A, C to be 30. Now remember, we want to solve for C. C is the same as ABC divided by AB. Because AB cancels out, we have C. So this is equal to, what is ABC? ABC is 20 root 15 divided by AB. What is AB? AB is 10. So you see that 10 divided by 20, we're going to have 2. So this C becomes 2 root 15. Very good. So we've got a value of A, B, and C. But the question requires us to look for the value of A, 
plus b plus c so how do we get that we add them together now what is a a is the square root of 15 plus what is b b is 2 root 15 divided by 3 plus c what is c c is 2 root 15. now all we have to do here is to take the lcm so what is the lcm of 1 and 3 it is actually 3. now 3 divided by 1 is 3 times the square root of 15 is 3 root 15 plus 3 divided by 3 is 1 times 2 root 15 is 2 root 15 and then plus 3 divided by 1 is 3 times 2 root 15 is 6 root 15 very good and then adding together the numerator 3 root 15 plus 2 root 15 plus 6 root 15 gives 11 root 15 all over the denominator 3 and this is our final solution so the value of a plus b plus c gives 11 root 15 all over 3 well feel free to share your ideas in the comment section below and if you enjoyed this video and have learned something from this video go ahead and give this video a thumbs up subscribe if you haven't turn on the notification bell so you don't miss my upcoming videos and like i always say until next time take care